in this video we look at physical quantities these physical quantities are divided into two fundamental quantities and derived quantities so we look at their units the units of fundamental quantities they are called fundamental units and the units of uh, derived quantities are called uh, derived units so these quantities in physics are fundamental they are basic they are what basic quantities and the uh, drive quantities are uh, gotten from combination of these uh, fundamental quantities we know before now that these are the fundamental quantities you have uh, you have mass mass you have time you have uh, length temperature amount of substance amount of substance luminous luminous intensity and electric current electric uh, current so these are the fundamental quantities any other quantity aside from this, this seven, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any other quantity aside from this, uh, what drive uh, quantities? For instance, you have uh, you have uh, volume, volume have density, density, pressure, uh, energy work momentum surface tension surface tension etc so these are what drive uh, quantities so we look at these units of uh, fundamental quantities and uh, later we look at these units of what drive uh, quantities Generally, systems of units in physics are categorized into three, namely the MKS system. MKS system, this implies, uh, this implies meter, this is meter, kilogram, kilogram, second uh, system. So that is the mks system and this is taken as the standard inter international system the standard standard uh, international system often uh, represented as si units so this is the standard in physics so every quantity in physics is expected to be in this uh, standard unit. So it means that if you are solving a problem and it is not in this uh, standard uh, unit, you need to what change it so that it will be in its what standard unit. So another system of unit in physics is the the FPS system. FPS FPS what system so that is another system of uh, units in physics and what does this stand for this stands for foot pound second what system so units in physics can be in this uh, system you have foot pound second so you should uh, always know how to uh, play around the conversions involving these uh, units another one is uh, this is the centimeter centimeter gram second uh, system so if 
a unit is in this uh, system of units either in fps or and you are required to put in its uh, standard which is the si unit the mks system so you should know how to play around this uh, these conversions so let us look properly at uh this uh, mk uh, system which is a meter kilogram watt system now this mks system which we say is the meter kilogram second system so let's revisit our fundamental quantities i'll be using fq to represent fundamental quantities uh we have uh electric currents electric uh, currents we have temperature temperature amount of substance then you have a luminous uh, luminous intensity so the the unit of this fundamental quantity is called the fundamental units fundamental units fundamental units and this fundamental unit is based on the si unit system the si units that is the mks system so the unit of this mass is kilogram the unit of uh, length is a uh, meter the unit of time is seconds you now see the reason why the the why this is named m k s system m standing for meter k standing for kilogram and s standing for seconds so electric current is ampere which we use capital a to denote temperature Kelvin, amount of substance uh, mole, uh, luminous intensity candela. So the fundamental unit is based on the uh, SI unit uh, system. So now let us look at multiples and submultiples of units. These multiples and submultiples of units helps when one now wants to uh, uh, play around this uh, fundamental units. For instance, if a body has a mass of, uh, let's say, if a body has a mass, uh, mass of, let's say, uh, 200 grams, of course, you see that this is in the CGS system. So this is gram. Of course, we can always put it in uh, uh, MKS system. We can make this to be in the standard by dividing by 1000. So if we divide 200 by 1000, we have, this is 0 0.2 kilogram. So you now see that this is in its uh, standard units. So we want to see how we can play around with this uh, unit uh, conversions. Now let us look at multiples and submultiples of units. Multiples and submultiples of units. For instance, if somebody writes 10 cm, what does this stand for? This is centimeter. So if I now want to put this, of course, this is in the CGS system, centimeter, okay? If I want to put it in the standard, the knowledge of sub-multiple of units will help, help us. So which we shall see uh, now. So, in the submultiple of units, submultiples, submultiples 
we have this 10 to power negative 1 is called DC 10 to power negative 2 is sin T 10 to power negative 3 is milli 10 to power negative 6 is micro 10 to power negative 9 is nano 10 to power negative 12 is what pico so these are what these are sub multiples of units for instance if somebody now writes 10 cm and you want to put it in the mks system of course this is uh, a description for lengths this is a description for lengths so you want to convert it to uh, mks system you want to be you want to have the this length now to be in these standard units so the idea of this sub multiples of unit will help you will go a long way to helping you do that so you have 10 times this is multiplication sign because it's written together uh cm this is how it's looking okay so and this c is senti it's called senti and this senti is this so you have 10 raised to the power minus 2 meters so you have converted it to the mks system you see this is very great the idea of sub multiples of units this is what uh usually people will say uh converting cm to meter is dividing by what 100 because from the law of indices this this is same thing as saying 10 upon 10 raised to power 2 which is 10 upon 100 okay in meters so anytime you want to convert cm to meter you divide by what 100 or you can use this idea of uh, sub multiples of units so just separate it this is century then you replace it for instance again three millimeter this millimeter is in the sgs system we want to make it to be in the mks system so we have 10 times milli is to power minus three okay 10 raised to the power minus three have it is already in meters now so if a volume is represented as let's say v equals 2 cm cube of course you will be asked for instance to put the answer in is a uh, uh, standard uh, units this is 2 times cm times cm times cm so this is two times this is centi then you have your meter times this is centi you have your meter times this is centi you have your meter so you now have this will be two times law of indices this is 10 raised to the power minus two times 10 raised to the power minus two times 10 raised to the power minus two this is Tell us power minus six. We have meter times meter times meter. This is meter cube. You now see that this volume is now in this uh, SI unit. So the knowledge of sub multiples of units will go a long way to helping you play around problems in physics. For instance, uh, value of a capacitor is giving us 10 micro farad so of course you can change this by having it as 10 times this micro is 10 to the power minus 6 farad okay again it can be in pico farad it can be in what pico farad so if it is in pico farad let's say 10 pico farad this will now be 10 times 10 to the power minus 12 
uh, farad so if you have heard of nanometer before nanometer let's say 10 nanometer of course if we now want to want it to be in its uh, standard units we have it as 10 times nano is 10 to the power minus 9 so it is a meter so the knowledge of sub multiples of units helps in what uh, playing around uh, physics uh, problems it helps while resolving what physics uh, problems so let us look at uh, multiples of units multiples of units and the multiples of unit to be looking at so we have uh, 10 raised to the power 1 is known as deca 10 raised to the power 2 is known as hecto 10 raised to the power 3 is known as kilo 10 raised to the power 6 is known as mega 10 raised to the power 9 is known as giga 10 raised to the power 12 is known as what? Tera. So if you have heard of, let's say, 10 megawatts. Okay, this is just talking about power. Of course, you can write it to be in its standard unit as 10 times. Mega is 10 raised to the power 6. 10 raised to the power 6, uh, 6 uh, watt now. Of course, power is a drive quantity okay so the unit is a drive unit so we can make the units okay to to have of course the unit of power is watts okay so this mega from the knowledge of multiple of units we can have this just showing the magnitude of this uh, wattage so mega in 10 raised to power 6 okay so uh we can have something like kilometer 10 kilometer of course 10 kilometer and 10 meter is not the same the power now tells you the magnitude so 10 times kilo is 10 raised to power 3 so it's now showing the magnitude of the what the distance okay so the knowledge of multiples of units now will help you play around this uh, type of uh, problems all right now let us look at other units of measurement other units of measurement so basically let's uh, briefly compare this uh, let's write quantity quantity the si units Let's just use uh, this. Uh, so let's use force. Of course, force is a drive quantity. Let's use mass, momentum, momentum, energy, power. Of course, this is a drive quantity. This is a fundamental quantity. This is a drive quantity. This is a drive quantity. This is a drive quantity. So let us find the unit. Of course, this is uh, the unit of force is Newton. Okay, represented as uh, capital N. The unit of mass from SI unit is kilogram. Okay, represented as kg. Momentum. Momentum is just a... Uh, Momentum is uh, the product of uh, mass and velocity and is related to impulse as uh, force, the product of force and time. So we can have the unit as Newton seconds. So energy we know is joule, so that we use joule to represent energy. And power is watts. Power is watts. Watt or joule per second watt or joule per second force is uh, 
force is serving this unit gram so gram uh, gram I can use G to represent it gram momentum in the CGS system so the Newton seconds Newton is in dyne so this is dyne seconds dyne second seconds as a unit for momentum so energy is in egg this is egg so and if energy is in joule and is in egg power cgs system will be egg per second egg per second so there is a relationship between these uh, quantities for instance one newton is equivalent to 10 to the power of 5 die and die 10 is the power of 5 okay again we know that one kilogram is equivalent to 1000 gram again uh, we can have that one newton seconds is equivalent to 10 to the power of 5 dying second take note of these uh, relationships one joule is equivalent to 10 to the power 7 x okay and uh, one watt one watt is equivalent to 10 to the power 7 uh, egg per second so this uh, relationship is very important whenever you want to relate the SI units with the CGS uh, system the equation can come like this one Newton is equivalent equivalent to dash dime so of course we know that one newton is equivalent to 10 to the power of 5 uh, dime so the answer is 10 to the power of what 5 so if one newton is equivalent to this equation can also ask 10 newton will be equivalent to how many dimes so if one newton is equivalent to this, 10 newton will be equivalent to 10 times 10 to the power of 5 watts, 9. Okay? So another one, one can ask, 1 joule is equivalent, equivalent to dash x. Of course, we have learned that 1 joule is equivalent to 10 raised to the power 7 x very important so if one joule is equivalent to this what will 12 joule be equivalent in x of course this is 12 times 10 raised to the power 7 watts uh, x some persons will ask how did i get this of course this means 12 times 1 joule so this is 12 times 1 joule is 10 to the power of 7 watts x all right so uh, let us look at unit uh, conversions so in our discussion of unit conversion i'll be using this example convert a velocity of 80 km per hour to SI units to SI units so of course the SI units for velocity is meter per second so the question can ask you convert a velocity of let's say 50 km per hour to SI units so we are just using 80 km per hour for illustration so solution 
solution we write this as 80 kilometer per hour per one hour this is per hour per one hour so from our knowledge of uh, um, multiple of unit this kilo is 10 to the power of 3 that is 1000 so this is 1000 so we have it as 1000 meter so we have achieved the meter how do we achieve the seconds which is underneath one hour is equivalent to 3600 uh, seconds 3600 seconds so if you do this math you have this as you divide this you have this as 22.2 meter per second so we have converted a velocity which is in kilometer per hour to a value in watts meter per seconds again uh, if this video interests you do well to give it a like share it with your learning colleagues and subscribe for more video updates check the subscription button and turn the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload what a new video so let's continue this one says convert an acceleration of 10 meter per second square to a value in kilometer per hour per hour square again the question can come as convert an acceleration of let's say 5 meter per second square to a value in kilometer per hour how do we go about this solution just as i did previously we have it as this is 10 meter per second square let us find what one meter is let us find the equivalence of of course what we'll be having here in the numerator after our conversion is kilometer and what we have in the denominator is hour square so what is the equivalence of meter in kilometer okay let's check we know that 1000 meters is equivalent to what one kilometer all right so if this is true what will one meter be what will one meter be so let's say it's x so one meter will be one upon one thousand okay you know how this math is done so i have 0 0.001 kilometer so one meter will give me 0 0.001 kilometer and this thing is simple as saying 10 times one meter okay so i will now have 10 times 0 0.001 in kilometer so I have achieved this uh, numerator part. How do I achieve, achieve the denominator part? So that I have an hour square here. So we know that 3600 seconds gives uh, is equivalent to one hour. So what will one second be? What will one second be? So one second will be, if you do this math, it will be zero point zero 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 uh zero have how many zeros now okay you have three zeros so you have zero point zero 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 two two seven seven eight so this is an hour this is in what hour so one second gives this so this means second times second so what will second square give us 
So this is just like saying one second times what? One second. So have it as following from this. This is 10 times 0 0.001 kilometer. So one second, we have it as 0 0.0002. 778 hour times one second again is 0 0.0002778 hour so hour times hour is hour square so we now see that we have achieved our kilometer per hour square so if we now resolve this math we'll be having that We'll be having that 10 meter per second square is equivalent to this in kilometer per hour square. So if you have enjoyed this video, do well to give it a like. As I've said, subscribe for more video updates. In our next video, we we'll look at unit analysis. So we we'll look at how we can get the units of drive quantities and this unit analysis will help us when we study dimensional analysis so expect a video on unit analysis check back this channel and uh, see if we have posted uh, the video do have a lovely day ahead this is nestle academy